So you're looking to start a clothing brand in 2024, but you don't know where to start. Today I'm making this video for the newer clothing brand owners. And I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to efficiently run and grow your clothing brand. I do own and run a six figure clothing brand and I started completely from scratch. Therefore, I could give y'all the keys on how to get to where I'm at now. And I actually started my brand when I was 15 and I didn't actually get profitable until about 19. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the key points to where it changed my life completely. And if you do want more videos teaching you about e-commerce and or how to run a clothing brand, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel as it helps tremendously. So first thing you want to do when starting a brand is you want to come up with a name. You're going to want something catchy and that stands out. Don't use things like Motion, Angels, Eternal, etc. For example, my brand name is Jackpot Studio and I'm sure you've never heard of a brand using this name before, right? You're going to want to take your time on this process brainstorming something unique. After coming up with the name, you want to figure out the direction you want to go with your brand like do you want to go with a streetwear brand or something luxury like a designer brand what you're going to want to do next is coming up with a logo whether that's you designing yourself on procreate or photoshop or paying a graphic designer if you want professional work and you don't have designing skills yourself you're going to want to go with a designer you can find them on fiverr for as low as ten dollars logos are absolutely vital when it comes to starting your clothing brand you're gonna wanna slap that on everything. That way when somebody see that logo, they know, oh, that's Jackpot Studios. You get what I'm saying? For example, Nike with the check, Adidas with the three stripes. And this is what we call branding. You're gonna wanna take your time with branding because this is the most important factor when it comes to selling your brand. Without brand identity, you don't have a brand. You're just selling merch. Next will be setting up a website. I highly recommend Shopify to create and build your website. It's extremely simple to optimize and set up your website for conversion. And they have an app store that contains apps for everything you would need. What's next after doing all that I just told you about, you're going to want to start cooking up some designs. If you're on PC, I recommend Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. And if you don't have the money to pay for those, just use this other website called PhotoP. It's completely free. And if you're on iPad, you can use the infamous Procreate. And if you're on iPhone, they also have the Pocket version, Procreate Pocket. Designing is more simple than you think. You just want to find mock-ups first by searching on Google or Pinterest. Next, you want to go to a few brands you like and find inspo. You can also go on Pinterest for this. You're going to gather inspo and create a mood board of all the images you found. Then you're going to use Virgil's 3% rule, which just pretty much means copy and paste, but just certain things to fit your brands are steady. Okay, don't copy and paste. Take details from your mood board and put them all together to create your own aesthetic. You could go watch some designer videos to learn how to design. I usually look up streetwear graphic design and a lot of related videos pop up. But if you have a budget to work with, I highly recommend going out and finding a designer. And I say this because they have years of experience. You're just now starting more than likely. This is one of the most important tasks to delegate when growing your brand. To find these designers, all you're gonna wanna do is use a good old trick, type in STD in your Instagram search bar and a bunch of streetwear studio designers will pop up. Do not buy the pre-made designs on their page. I repeat, do not buy pre-made designs, okay? You wanna DM them and start commission work, which just means you're giving them a concept and starting from scratch to create your own design, which would be very unique to your brand versus a pre-made design. If you want to skip through this process of looking for a valid streetwear designer, you could just DM me on Instagram at YSLSir and buy my list of trusted designers used by bigger brands like Project Capri, Jackpot Studios, and more. Now, this is the biggest headache when it comes to starting a streetwear brand, and that's manufacturing. I'm going to start off by saying don't use Pakistan like everyone else starting a brand. I do use Pakistan myself, but I'm slowly transitioning into only using China. It will save you a lot of stress in the long run. Trust me. This is how my items look from Pakistan and here's how my items look with China so you tell me which one you rather buy because quality is everything you're gonna want to start off by using China manufacturers because you're gonna get the highest quality here like the highest quality possible no cap and you'll be able to create the most customizable products it will take plenty of trial and error to find a good manufacturer and most brand owners won't give theirs out for free go on this app called Alibaba and search for the product you're trying to create go to filters and turn on trade assurance and trusted vendors and now you should be able to scroll Scroll through these and find a good one for yourself. And again, if you want to skip this stressful process, just DM me on Instagram and come cop this trusted manufacturers list. And I gathered this list of trusted manufacturers from other brand owners such as Capri, Kayla Perilla, Billionaire Studios, Dante's Akram, Hollywood Shaq, and my boy Cortland at Lost Society. After you got a manufacturer, you're going to want to figure out whether you want to do a pre-made 
or pre-order drop. What pre-order is, is when you're taking orders for an item you don't have on hand yet. Some people place the bulk order after receiving the pre-orders and others place the bulk order ahead of time before taking the orders and wait till production has been like one to two weeks to where it's almost done and almost ready to ship. Pre-order is the best way to start because you need little to no capital since you're paying for these items with the money you got from the pre-order. All you're gonna really need to buy is samples. Best way to run a pre-order is ordering samples, order some for yourself, and order a few other pieces for influencers. Now don't send out to influencers expecting them to run you a promo for free. You're going to want to get in contact with these influencers within your target audience and see what prices make the most sense for your budget. And if you don't have the budget yet, it's okay. Run this play on a restock later on. But you're still going to want to order these samples for yourself, that way you can take product pictures and make plenty of content. I recommend not only getting sizes that you could fit, get sizes that some of your friends friends and family members could fit too. That way you can have them take pictures and also make content in them. This is the best way to build social proof for your brand, which is very important to winning over strangers when they come across your brand. The only real problem with pre-orders is long shipping time. Sometimes it can take up to one to two months just to fulfill orders, depending on how fast your manufacturer and how many orders you got. This could be avoided with a couple systems in place. Let me know if y'all want that video down below. And I'll be showing y'all how to run the pre-order as efficient as possible. Now pre-made is when you're placing a bulk order before taking orders and then take orders once it's ready to ship out to the customer. This is extremely good for customer retention and you're going to have to do this later on anyway. And I can't stress this enough. If you're going to run pre-orders, please do yourself a favor and update your customers who purchased from your drops. Leaving customers hanging can lead to chargebacks and customer complaints, which will build a terrible reputation for your brand. Then no one will want to support you because everyone will be scared. Now back to pre-made drops. If you have the money to run pre-made i always recommend this over pre-order it's up to you to decide what's best for you and your business now i'm going to show you all the storage unit and how we pack orders over there let's go all right so now i'm going to show you all our storage unit and how we pack orders before i get into that thought i'm going to tell you all reality is starting to bring not as easy as y'all think it's not going to happen overnight it's not a get rich quick scheme whatsoever bro you're going to have to really put in hours pay somebody to put in them hours do the hard work for you homie. but all in all it really is just being consistent and staying down for the couple up though. You gotta have passion for this shit though, bro. Anybody can't do it. Real like you really gotta either have one already for fashion. You gotta build one. It's not just fashion. It's like the whole business stuff. Yeah and content creating like all that stuff but you don't gotta do content creating you can really like do the behind the scenes shit and have people do content for you like that's why people pay influencers for like ugc or promo and they like you won't even know they they the brand owner you feel me yeah you even gotta show your face you know what you're doing for real right and if you got the the capital to do so because if you don't got the money to pay influencers you can't really do it balling on the budget you know what i mean get the samples have all your family and friends when you put that shit on, do some content for you. You just gotta be the creative director in a way. You don't wanna be the face of the brand. You don't wanna show your face at all. Better to do it that way if you don't got money. Brain not blowing up due to ego. I just feel like you really can't have a big ego with this shit because you never know what can happen. You can lose it overnight, you can gain it overnight, but having a big ego, it's not gonna Facts. It's not gonna get you nowhere. I have a good character. Like I say, you gotta really be committed. I have a passion. But yeah, you gotta just really want it. Stay down for the come up. It was in our face like five years straight, doing a lot of stuff, but finally seen it and just took off with it. Y'all better write that in your notes, man. Right. No count. All right, so now we got y'all with the unit tour. Uh, <laughs> this shit was messy. <laughs> Yo, mom. All right, so like I said, I'm finna show y'all the unit. Before I do show y'all, don't expect nothing crazy. It's like, y'all could probably already see it in the background, but it's nothing crazy, bro. We live in LA, so first of all, everything is hard. The price we paying for this everywhere else, like Atlanta, I'll be seeing other places, y'all be saying 150, we paying 150. But guess what y'all get? Y'all get something like this. You see how big this is? Hold on, I gotta step back and how big it is. Like for real, <laughs> exactly, like he said. <laughs> If we get something as big as y'all shit, we're gonna be paying like 500, like for real, for real. And ain't nobody paying 500 a month. I'd rather get uh, another bedroom in the house and do that there, which we for sure gonna do. But yeah, so it's not that big. And we do got, well, I got some personal stuff in here because at home I don't have a closet. But yeah, it do look a little messy right now, but it's better than nothing. I mean, forever grateful. There's all the orders that we still gotta pack, and a lot of that might be extra. So, it might just be getting shipped out early for some people orders, because I think I wanna start doing it that way. So, yeah, that's really it. That's it, literally. We're gonna spice it up soon, you feel me? How you feel about the unit? Just forever grateful. 
I don't really say. <laughs> so I'm gonna show y'all what they ordered. Y'all can see. That's a lucky lot of gray small. And I already got it right here for y'all. Now let me just grab a custom bag. And if you don't have custom bags, go get you some, bro. It's worth it. Like for real, it, it ups the customer experience. If they do get a delayed order, that might make up for it. You feel me? Like it's little stuff like that. All about your customer experience, man. Nothing else matters but the customer. Got my custom bag right here. Y'all see that? Oh, details. Hello. Got this. Put this in here. And we do leave it in the plastic because for one it's easier and it keeps the item more secure. So yeah, just put that in here like that. Pick it up, push all the air out. This is what I usually do. And then, and then we just get a poly mill. Y'all wondering why it's so big? It's because we ran out of small ones. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit. So yeah, put that in there. You see? And you're gonna grab your package slip if you do print out package slips. I know some people do. But uh, work smarter, not harder. Don't print out just the, the label and then write it on the back. So, like it's not worth it. Put that in there, take this off, and seal it. So then get this shipping label, take the sticker off, slap that bitch on it. Yo, that's how you pack the order. Most important factor when it comes to building your brand is marketing. Last year, TikTok was the top dog when it came to marketing, but now Instagram has taken that throne with Instagram Reels. Now, don't get me wrong. You can still grow and market your brand with TikTok, but it's just not the same anymore. Not as effective as it used to be, or if you're using TikTok Shop. The TikTok Shop method is actually how I blew up my brand. If y'all want that method on TikTok Shop, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll drop that for y'all ASAP. Other than using TikTok, TikTok shop if you're not a good content creator it wouldn't be worth putting a lot of time into TikTok anymore Instagram is where it's at a thousand percent I put it like this TikTok is good for getting recognition and Instagram is great for building a strong community another form of marketing is email and SMS these are the most effective if you build up your lead which means you have to gain traffic to your site or build a following y'all know the pop-ups to where it be like 10 percent off and they ask you for your number or email yeah that's how a lot of big brands acquire members for their list the bigger you grow your list the more people you're able to reach instantly when trying to push your products versus instagram and tiktok you're heavily depending on the algorithm to push your content out to your followers Better yet, if they sign up for your VIP list, they're already invested in your brand. They already got their eyes on your products and your pieces. We're approaching the end of this video now, and I hope y'all did learn something while watching this video. Apply everything I said in this video, and I promise you'll see progress. And I'm not guaranteeing you'll blow up because that all depends on your work ethic and a little bit of luck. Keep working, keep your head down, and your time will come. Without further ado, that'll wrap today's video up. And again, if you found any value in today's this video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe with post notifications on as it greatly supports this channel it's been your boy sir and as always i'll see you in the next one go make me proud man